Understanding Seasons, a key to English dates. Hello, learners. Welcome to our video on the topic of seasons within our series on understanding dates. We know dates can get a bit tricky with days, months, and years. But they can also involve a less discussed, yet essential aspect, seasons. Today, we are going to learn all about how seasons impact English dates and some important seasonal vocabulary. Let's dive in. So, what are seasons? In a year, we have four main seasons, spring, summer, autumn, or fall, as it is commonly known in American English, and winter. Each of these seasons last for about three months and they all come with their own unique weather patterns and events. This cycle of seasons is due to the tilt of the Earth's axis as it orbits around the Sun. Now, let's learn which months fall into each season. Spring usually lasts from March to May. It is often associated with rebirth, renewal, and growth. Summer, extending from June to August, is a time of warmth and usually the hottest season. Autumn or fall, lasting from September to November, is often associated with harvest time and falling leaves. Finally, winter, from December to February, is the coldest season when snow falls in many places. Remember, these are applicable in the Northern Hemisphere. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, the seasons are reversed. Seasons are not just about weather. They are also associated with specific holidays, events, and activities. Let's look at some key vocabulary. Bloom a term often used in spring when flowers start to open. Harvest. This is an autumn term relating to when crops are gathered from the fields. Suntan or sunburn. These are summer terms, referring to skin changes due to exposure to the sun. Snowfall. A winter term referring to the falling of snow. There you go. Now you've added a new dimension to your understanding of English dates, the seasons. You know about the four seasons, the months they generally encompass, and some related vocabulary. We hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing and remember to use these new words and concepts as you continue learning and improving your English. See you in our next video. Happy learning!